identity of our surprise celebrity guest. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Carol Channing. Hello, Del Webb, Palm Desert. Did I get it right? I have been rehearsing with these rock guests and I was gonna get confusing in your Indio, but no, we're in Palm Desert, hello. I am so honored to be here on this auspicious occasion with Rock Edge. Yes, well, I bet very few of you remember the Broadway show Gentlemen for Blondes. You remember that? You must be very old. I, well, that was so long ago. I mean, that was 1949. Well, I, if you don't know, I played Lorelei Lee long before Marilyn Monroe, and I was from the foot of the Ozarks, and I was able to manipulate men just like the president of General Motors. Yes. And, you know, I must tell you, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Did you know that? But I've never seen a man to turn one down yet. Well, this became my first battle with him, and it went like this. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on that humble flat or help you at the auto mat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are girls' best friends. May come a time when a lash needs a lawyer, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. There may come a time when the hard boiled employer thinks you're awful nice, but get that ice shall real no dice. He's your guy when stocks are high, but beware when they start to descend. It's then that those louses. Go back to their spouses. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Time goes on when you is gone, and you can't straighten up when you bend. But stiff back or stiff knees, you stand straight at Tiffany's. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. I don't mean rhinestones. Diamonds, 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 diamonds are a girl's best friend. You remember. Well, please forgive me, but I am still in love with the Broadway show, Hello, Dolly. You saw that one, too? You must have been in a blankie, ma'am. I mean, that was 50 years ago, too. I mean, my gosh, you all must be 100. Um, well, I played Dolly Gallagher Levi, and I was going to get a, a Barnaby and Cornelius out of the feed store, and Mrs. Malloy out of the hat shop, I was getting everybody to rejoin the human race. Well, I suddenly realized that I wanted to rejoin the human race. So I was talking more and more to my dead husband.